What's going on YouTube? Split Sweating Gears 87. I have something that I want to show you guys today that I'm very happy about. Um, last September, I went on an antelope hunt, a pronghorn antelope hunt. I flew out to New Mexico and uh, I went hunting in Springer, New Mexico, which is in northern New Mexico, like right below the Colorado line. But um, I went on a hunt and I ended up tagging a super nice book. I'll insert a clip of that book right here so you guys can see them. Super nice book. They say it was my first one ever. Um, I tagged them on the second day of the hunt. Huge buck. But anyway, instead of uh, showing you guys that, let me flip this camera around and show you what we are really here for today. Bam. He just came in from the taxi dumpers yesterday. I actually got him mounted by a taxidermist in New Mexico just because I knew that, you know, somebody from an area that's familiar with pronghorn probably would mount him a little bit better than if I was to send him back out here. But, you know, I guess the taxidermist might not be as familiar with him. But I just wanted to show you guys how beautiful it turned out. The taxidermist did an amazing job. Let me get up close so you guys can see this thing is amazing. It's kind of hard to tell, but that horn right there with all that hook in it was 16 inches. Huge buck. I just wanted to show you guys how it looks up close. Turned out amazing. You see, got everything right. The eyelashes, everything. Did an amazing job on it. It's got the, the cheek patches, right? Even the mohawk on the back. Beautiful, beautiful animal. He even, he's got the back of it finished to look like the rock that is up under it. And um, I have a few shoulder mounts, so I wanted to try something different and I got this one on a pedestal but it is beautiful if I'm uh, ever out in New Mexico hunting hunting again and I tag something I'm definitely going to use this guy again amazing work and then they even uh, they arranged for it to be shipped here to me so I didn't have to figure everything out. He had a, uh, another company, I believe it's called Big Horn Trophy Haulers, and they actually delivered it for me. They dropped them off yesterday. But the taxidermist that I used, he was, uh, he was in Las Cruces, New Mexico, and uh, the name of his shop is major wildlife studio amazing work and i just did some research online um before i went out there hunting and i was actually in spring of new mexico which is a few hours away from uh, his shop in las cruces but after i did the uh research online I, I knew that that's where i wanted to send my antelope if i got one and i ended up getting this one so Everything worked out perfectly. And this base right here is basically what, like a rock. Got this habitat right here and the cactus. I actually added this myself. I ordered this little thing from Amazon. But uh, I'll throw a couple more pictures in here so you guys can just check them out. It's looking like it might it might try to rain, so I'm going to go ahead and take them back in the house. Yeah, <laughs> Christmas came in June. Santa Claus, <laughs> he brought this gift right here. It's, I'm happy. I don't even know what to say. I'm so happy about it. I've been looking forward to this day. But uh, anyway, until next time, YouTube, Split Sweating Gears 87.
Have a good child later. Peace.